Our next stop is at Charleston Middle School where philosophical farmer Clyde Fenton talks with students about growing strawberries and how they can take those strawberries from farm to table. Welcome to this segment of The Philosophical Farmer. I'm here today with Sarah Lane. She's with the Ag Department working with the Early Childhood and Farm to School program. We're here once again at Charleston School and we're here for their Super Summer event with a strawberry theme. I'm very excited to be here today because this is kind of the culmination of, of Farm to School and hands-on and you know, all these things together stem, it all kind of culminates right here. And so this is a really neat event. The kids have worked really hard. They've worked with a garden. They've worked with these recipes and they put this smorgasbord of strawberry recipes together. And it's really neat. We've talked to a lot of the kids today and uh, they're gonna be talking about the different things that they did. In my station, we're making a strawberry and vegetable salad and right now we're just cutting everything up and then we'll put the lettuce and stuff and we're making putting sunflower seeds. So just something new and we never tried it so we're excited to try something new. We're making like fruit kebabs, we're cutting up the bananas, strawberries, uh, pineapples and we're making diff two different combines. We're making blueberry and everything else and then we're switching to strawberries. Um, you have to like Cut them in half, take out the insides, and then we have to like make frosting for it. And then you have to, um, like mush and break um, graham crackers. And then you like sprinkle it over the frosting and then you put it in the freezer and then it's ready. So Farm to School has three pillars, school gardens, which we have right here at Charleston Middle School. It's education about gardening, cooking, and nutrition. And then it's eating local foods, a part of local procurement. So Farm to School is those three pillars and every school can do something unique to them. And it's so incredible to be out here today and get to see all three of those in action. You know, the kids helped grow the strawberries in their school garden, they harvested them, then they just cooked recipes with them and they're learning all about facts about strawberries. So I, I love to see this in action. Um, Charleston's not the only school in Arkansas that does farm to school. You know, we've been able to count over 300 school gardens in our state at early childhood centers. Um, we see them at K-12 schools and we even see them at alternative spaces like juvenile detention centers. So really all across Arkansas farm to school is happening and it's a huge shout out to the incredible teachers and administration who want to take on this awesome opportunity and provide innovative hands-on opportunities for their students. By working in the garden uh, helped us by learning what environment they live in and uh, how much water and sunlight it takes to keep them alive in the cold and hot weather and by building around them they've seemed to be almost adapting to the environment out here already and I'm pretty sure it's helping them. Dig a little hole and then drop the seed in. Yeah. And then you just let nature do its thing. And when we were going to strawberries we learned that it needs water, sunlight, and just like growing every single day. And we made the like platform where the strawberries are, we made it bigger, like the width bigger. And that's pretty much it what I helped with. This has just been an awesome event today. And uh, the kids have done great, they've worked hard. Um, we're excited about where we're going. You know, I do want to mention this, um, Jesse Taylor is the ag agent that's actually kind of spearheading this, helping the, the two teachers that oversee this program here. And uh, he's been working on getting their garden ready. They're going to add a high tunnel next year, which is going to add a whole new dimension to what they can do, what they can, how they can extend their season, how they can produce more. And, and we're real excited about helping them with that too. Um, like I said, this is just kind of an example of what's happening all over the state with Farm to School. Is there anything more you wanted to share? Yeah, I love that, Clyde. I love how you brought up the community connection, right? We, the school here couldn't do this without extension agents like you and Jesse 
who are really supporting the efforts of the garden and education and procurement. And yeah, we, we need that. We need our farmers, right? We need our community members to support Farm to School. And it, it's a great way to bring the community and families in, which is such a crucial element of school communities. So yeah, Arkansas, Arkansas Farm to School is a great way for kids to plug in to really awesome hands-on innovative learning. Um, and us at the Ag Department, we're excited to support that. Sure. I learned like it's sometimes better to grow your stuff than to buy it because growing it makes it like makes it taste a little bit better and more healthy and when you buy like something store-bought it might not say it has added sugar but it could have added sugar and you just didn't know yeah yeah especially if like we ever run out of food and the grocery stores aren't open we could just go out to the garden and get the food out there so it's resourceful too you know, I know that this actually got initiated by a couple that had a dream for what the school could do and they made it possible for them to get started. You know, there's a lot of people that are going to see this show today and here's an opportunity. You want to you wanna help kids learn, you want to help them with hands-on, contribute to a school garden. It's a great program, um, it's a great way for kids to learn and it will open their minds to new ways of learning. Yeah, and if you don't know who to contact, you can reach out to us at the Arkansas Department of Agriculture and we can connect you in to your local school. We can let you know what school gardens already exist and find a way for you to plug in. Absolutely, and we work closely with the Ag Department. We're with the University of Arkansas's Division of Agriculture's Cooperative Extension, but we're available too and want to be a resource for anyone that's interested in doing this kind of thing. You know, my heart has always been education. I love teaching people, and so I love to see what's going on here. I was looking for something to appropriate, appropriate to share today and I found a quote from Ben Franklin that I thought just absolutely fit the event. Ben Franklin said this about education. He says, tell me something and I'll probably forget. Teach me something and I may remember. Involve me and I'll learn. Guys, what we've seen here today at the Charleston School was kids getting involved. And I think this is the greatest opportunity for learning that there is. I, I love that we've been able to be a part of this today and uh, really looking forward to the involvement here in the future and what these kids are going to learn with this program.